वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री पॉइंट टू एट सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट अ टॉर्क ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड टी इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड ऑन शॉफ्ट ए बी ऑफ द गेयर ट्रेन दिस इज शॉफ्ट ए बी ऑफ द गेयर ट्रेन नोइंग दैट अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पासकल इन ईच ऑफ द थ्री सॉलिड शॉफ्ट डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड डायमीटर ऑफ शॉफ्ट ए बी शॉफ्ट सी डी एंड शॉफ्ट ई एफ सो यू कैन सी दिस इज शॉफ्ट ए बी दिस इज शॉफ्ट सी डी एंड दिस इज शॉफ्ट ई एफ एंड द टॉर्क टी इज अप्लाइड एट शॉफ्ट ए ऑल्सो द रेडियस ऑफ गेयर बी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर रेडियस ऑफ गेयर सी इज सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर रेडियस ऑफ गेयर डी इज थर्टी मिलीमीटर वाइल रेडियस ऑफ गेयर ई इज सेवेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर I have also written the given data that applied torque T is equal to one twenty one one twenty newton. Uh, let me correct it. Applied torque is one uh, one twenty. This is one twenty newton newton into meter. Also for shaft A B. Also the maximum torque or allowable torque is seventy five mega pascal in each of the three shaft. Radius of each gears B C D and E is shown and as respectively. So you have to determine the diameter of shaft A B, diameter of shaft C D, and diameter of shaft E F. So let's start with the solution. So from the knowledge of statics. we know that uh, torque in shaft ab is equal to we can also write it as torque at a or torque at b and at that is equal to torque t which is equal to 120 newton into meter now sh for shaft ab we have written this we have written for shaft ab now this star due to this star this gear will rotate in this direction clear counter clockwise so it will exert a force on gear c at this point it will exert perpendicular force in this point that is f b c clear so gear b and c i will write gear b and c will be in contact so there will be force and this force f b c again i have explained in problem 3.27 in detail this fbc will be equal to t b over or t a b or t over so for gear b it is t b i will write divide by it is equal to r b and that is equal to torque in shaft c over radius of gear c so from here we can also write these two tb over rb is equal to tc over rc we know tb we know rb we know rc so tc will be equal to uh, tb into rc over rb okay so this tb will be equal to as tb is equal to t and rc is Uh, 60 mm and tb is 20 uh, rb is 25 so 60 over 25 into tb and tb is equal to again simple this is equal to t so t uh, sorry i have written tb this is tc not tb this is tc so tc is equal to this and tc will be in general form it will be equal to Two times two point four times t. So I will I highlight this. So torque now the torque in shaft C D will be equal to two point four times t. Again, uh, we can write for shaft or shaft C D. We can write T C is equal to T D is equal to T C D. and that is equal to 2.4 times t now due to this torque this shaft will rotate if this is so it will rotate like this so again this gear d and e are in contact so definitely there will be a force in this direction clear and this force will be equal to f d 
e and we will write this for uh, gear d and e so gear d and e gear d and e are in context so this force f d e this force f d e f d e will be e again equal to uh, t t d over r d t d over r d and that is equal to t e over r e okay so from here we can get we have t d you can see here this we do not know t e so t e will be equal to t d over r d into r e now you can put the value t d is 2.4 times t and r e is again r e is 75 and r d is 30 so 75 by 30 i will write bracket over 30 so from here you will get t e and this t e will be equal to 6 times t i will also highlight this so this is in torque uh, in uh, in shaft t e also i will write this t e will be equal to t e or t f is equal to t e f and that is equal to 6 times t now we know that maximum sharing stress in general is equal to t into c divided by j where j is polar moment of inertia t is torque and c is radius of the shaft so t into c and j for solid shaft will be pi by 2 c4 so from here you will get 2t over c cube this is the maximum sharing stress okay pi c cube okay now we will use this formula in order to get the desired radi uh, radius of the shaft so let proceed further okay so this was problem 3.28 okay so we will move further we will for shaft a i will write for shaft shaft a b i will write this so you know that uh, this maximum sharing stress is equal to 2t over pi c cube so we are interested to find out diameter so this is radius so c cube will be equal to 2t over pi tau max and this c will be equal to cubic under root 2t divided by pi tau max now we have all the values you can put it in this formula so c is equal to cubic under root 2t is 120 clear divided by pi and maximum sharing stress was given as 75 megapascal so 75 into 10 raised to power 6 so when you solve this by using calculator so you will get this c will be equal to uh, this c uh, again you will get some value but uh, if i convert it into diameter so you have to multiply to let me write it multiply both sides by 2 we get 2c will be equal to 2 multiply by cubic under root 2 into 120 divided by pi into 75 into 10 to the power 6 so 2c is, is is equal to diameter of shaft av and when you calculate it this comes out to be 20 point 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 millimeter 
sorry meter so dab is equal to in term of millimeter it will be 20.1 millimeter so this is the answer of our first part in second part it, it it's it's been asked to find the diameter of shaft cd so again we know that this is the general formula c is equal to cubic under the root 2 into t divided by pi into t max now uh, we will multiply t 2 uh, on both sides so if i multiply it by 2 so 2 multiply by 2 so this will be equal to diameter of cd and that will be equal to 2 multiply by cubic under root 2 multiply by t for uh, t for shaft cd is equal to 2.4 t you can see it over here so i will put 2.4 times t and t is 120 clear divide by pi and tau max is again that is 75 given for all three shafts so when you calculate it you will get tcd will be equal to 26.9 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter r t d cd is 26.9 millimeter so this is answer of our second part now we'll move toward third part in third part it's been asked to find diameter of ef shaft ef so again i will write directly that diameter of shaft ef is equal to 2 multiply by cubic under root 2 into t divided by pi into tau max now we'll put the value so 2 multiply by cubic under root 2 and t for ef is this 60 so i will put the value of 60 so 6 and t is 120 divided by pi into 75 into 10 to the power 6 so when you calculate this def comes out to be 36.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or def comes out to be 36.6 millimeter so this is the answer of our part 3 so in this way we have calculated the required diameter of shaft ab required diameter of shaft cd and required diameter of shaft ef i hope you have enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed my channel then subscribe it now and press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming new videos thank you for watching me and supporting me